Hey y'all, N4H and H here. And so many of you know, and I warned my Patreon team members about the update for the ham clock version 4.01. It caused some issues with the VOA cap. Um, it wasn't tracking, like if you clicked a call sign or click somewhere on the map, it wouldn't, um, well, you can see right now, I'm still running 4.01. If I click somewhere, VOA cap doesn't update, see? Now, the workaround was to come down here and click something in this row. So I would click SP and then back to L from LP back to SP and now it updates. So a little bug there. And then there was a little idiosyncrasy like on mine. Um, I don't get the pop-up for set DX or DE or Zoom or any of that, no matter what I do. And in 4.01, you're supposed to be able to hold the shift and then click either button on the mouse and then it would just go straight to the place like I just did there with Australia without the pop-up, but I'm not getting the pop-up even if I don't uh, press shift. So they put out an update, uh, you know, pretty, pretty quick in fact, um, uh, just a few days and um, 4.02 is out and that's why you see version 4.01 up there is in red. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the update and I'll show you the new functionality. So 4.02 is available and you'll see there uh, what the changes are at real time muff map style. Click moon pane for option to open 360 degree. Okay, there, well, there it was fixed. VOA cap pane was not updated when changing DX. Live spots pane was not updating correctly. Possible crash when setting uh, date format to, to uh, day, month, year. Widen setup um, longitude field to hold to west. Oh, interesting. Uh, when you're running a 16 by 960 is which is how I uh, operate and remove map menu busy okay left visible over curved projections I don't I didn't I don't remember seeing anything about that but there we go that's what is new and different so let me go ahead and click yes and let it uh, run the update oh and by the way I didn't show you this but I also lost my antipode the little thing little uh, uh orange ring with a black dot in the middle that shows you halfway around the world because they think mine was zoomed in a little bit and I was getting these little flashes of prefixes wherever I clicked on the map. Okay, so it's over here on the other screen. Let me bring it back over. Here we go. It's running, uh, there's loading. All right, I'm not gonna click anywhere to set up. I just wanna see what happened there. It says 4.02. I hope this will settle it for a while. I'm tired of updating this thing, to be honest with you. I just want to enjoy it. It's a great tool. And the VOA cap, the thing that was broken, that's one of the main tools I use. Saves you time. Uh, I see it comes up in the terrain map. And, you know, even though I had it on MUF map. And, yeah, I'm just going to mention this again. MUF, maximum usable frequency. Let me switch over to that. Um, I've mentioned this in another video, too. Uh, Muff VOA cap. Okay, that's that's new. There's Muff real time. Okay, that's what's new. So let's do this Muff VOA cap. So I'll click down here and I'm getting the set DX, which I wasn't getting before. All right, now you're supposed to hit control this time, not shift, and it will set DX. I'll, I'll do Alaska. Oh, now he said control, and I just did control. Oh, <laughs> got to turn my keyboard on. Okay, there we go. I'm pressing control and left click. Yep, see, it was shift. Now it's control uh, on a, on, on, on a um, PC or other versions. Now on Mac, I understand you just hit command and click the command button. All right, so that worked. It didn't give me the pop-up. Now, if I just click somewhere without pressing control, it's going to give me the set DX, zoom, recenter, and all that. And see, I'm still not seeing my dot that represents around the world, so I'm going to click recenter. And there it is. See, that's halfway around the world right there, that little orange circle with a black dot in the middle. All right, so that's what it was. They, they, they uh, beta tester told me uh, that he thought my shift, that there was a ghost shift, that my, my version thought that shift was being pressed in the old version. But now it's not shift, it's control. Everything seems to be working. Well, let me check VOA cap. All right, so I'm going to click 
Um, oh, I don't know. Let's just see. Well, let's just see what Vo Volcap says I have right now. I could maybe work somebody in Alaska on 20 meters, but it's less than a 33% chance. Uh, let me try down here in South America. So, oh, I didn't press control, so I'll just have to say set DX. All right, see, yep, Volcap instantly updated there. And that's uh, see I, I saw that little orange there which represent the 10, ten that represents 10 meter propagation and indeed it is showing me right now there's 10 meters and I've got green that means better than a 66 percent chance better than a 66 percent easy for me to say chance of being able to work a station there now let's let's look at this other uh, muff map oh it, yeah okay I started to tell you this so if, if you, you see this right here, this blue, that that's 40 meters coverage right now. If you look down there at the bottom, let me pan down a little bit. There we go. All right, if you look down here, you'll see the color code. And so it's so over here in the orange area, that's 10 meters. Uh, in the green, the light green, that is um, 15 meters, 21 megahertz or so. But down here in the blue, that's 40 meters. So my 40 meter coverage right now is that, southeast, right? Well, up into the northeast, uh, but the the eastern side of the country. And that'll expand as it gets dark, you know, because the band goes long. It'll stretch out and we can work DX at night on 40 meters. Maximum usable frequency to me is a little bit of a misleading term because I can't work Alaska on 40 meters. And so I'm going to go ahead and hold my control key and shift back there in Alaska. And see, look, it's showing me. It's in the black here. I can't work Alaska on 40 meters. Yet that's showing green. So that doesn't mean 21 megahertz and down. I'm going to consider this most usable frequency, not necessarily maximum usable frequency. All right, let me go to uh, the MUF real time. That's something new that's been added. Okay, I want to show you a little bit about this new option here on the MUF map, maximum usable frequency, which I think of more as most usable frequency. All right, so before version 4.02, we only had a MUF option here, maximum usable frequency. That is now being labeled as MUF VOA cap because the older version of MUF got its data from the Voice of America coverage analysis program. Okay, but this new one, this MUF-RT, that is getting its data from Ionison. Okay, Ionison uh, sounders, or that's, the SON means sounder. It stands for Ionospheric Sounder. I've got a complete article about it on my Patreon space. So if you're a Patreon team member, you can go there and learn all about that. You see these little green circles here with numbers in them. Those are the Ionison uh, data centers or you know this uh, where they're collecting the data from. And look at number 18 up there in Alaska. So those are what is currently feeding this system. And you can see here, the, the, the color code is still about the same. Your, uh, you know, your 10 meter coverage is gonna be up here in this light orange to dark to darker orange. And we're seeing that here. These two represent where you might have 10 meter coverage right now, which looks good over uh, Australia. But that's what this new option is. So now you have two options for a muff map. Like I said, I still consider it more of a, a most usable frequency map rather than maximum usable frequency because, uh, well, let me go back to the other one and I'll, and I'll show you. That blue right there, see, if I look down here um, at the, the decoder ring, I like to call it, uh, this blue here represents around seven megahertz, so that's 40 meter band. Whereas, you know, the lighter green, that's uh, gonna be around 15 meters. Up here in the orange, that's gonna be closer to 10 meters. Well, I've only got blue in the in the eastern United States up here. Of course, you see a bunch of call signs that are covering it up. There's no way I can work Alaska on 40 meters. And yet, Alaska's in green, which is more likely 15 meters. But I can't really work Alaska on 15 meters and downs because I know I can't get them on 40 meters until, you know, it's dark. And, the, and 40 meters stretches out and goes long. So... I'm considering that more of a most usable frequency. And given that I've been using this software now since December, um, that has proven to be the case for me. I find that it's mostly whatever color I see there is the is the best frequency for me to try, or at least I'll try that first. Uh, so for me to get Alaska right now, I would go to I would try for 15 meters. 
All right, so anyway, that back to the real time. So this one's being, this map is being created from the, the Voice of America coverage analysis program, and the MUF RT is getting its data from uh, these ionosan stations. You know, it's a contraction of ionospheric sounder, sond for sound. So that's what that's all about. You'll hear, you know, if you've seen my videos about it, or again, if you're a Patreon team member, you can go read a whole article about it. If you've got a scope, you'll see these things go across the screen every now and then, and you'll hear boop. That is the ionospheric sounder, okay, sweeping through the HF spectrum, gathering data to be able to give this analysis, okay? Hope that clears that up. Oh, Nui, look at that. I just clicked that 35 there. I just clicked on Nui, N-I-E-U. I've actually worked a station in Nui. Uh, 4.02 is working. Again, control and click the mouse, either left or right button, will immediately move your green dot, which represents a DX station. It'll immediately move it wherever you click. Whereas if you just click, then you have to select set DX, set DE. I imagine a lot of people complained about this pop-up here when they added that just a few releases ago and introduced the zoom. But I imagine there were some complaints. Hey, we'd like to not have to do this every single time. So control, click your mouse left or right, and it'll immediately go to where you clicked on the map. All right, and uh, final check here. I'm gonna click a call sign up here in the, in the DX cluster. Uh, let's see, LT6M. Boom, see what my chances are at him. See it automatically updated the VOA cap and I look over here and I see that, no, I don't have a chance and he's on 40 meters, see, 7.022. And I've got a video coming out, by the way, showing how to get the colors up in here, coordinated with the colors down across the bottom here. Uh, by default, they're not all coordinated. So I want orange up here to be orange down here. And I want uh, 40 meter blue to be uh, you know, if it's 40 meter blue up here or well, 40 meter blue down here, then I want 40 meters to show up blue up there. So I've got a video coming out that'll show you how I coordinated all that. But yeah, indeed it gave me the, <laughs> gave me the bad news. I don't have any coverage there on 40 meters right now. It's black. Now don't forget if you really, really, really need that station, try anyway. Once in a while there's, I mean, I had black one night on 12 meters and I was trying to work a DX station, uh, back in November and I got them. Go station, if it hadn't have been for the magnificent receiver in the Chasey radio, I wouldn't have been able to hear them. But they heard me, and I heard them back, and I made it even though it was in the black. So black doesn't mean necessarily don't try, but it does pretty much mean you're probably not going to make it. I just happened to have an exception that time. All right, hey, I, I hope you found the video helpful and informative. Thanks for watching videos on my channel. Uh, please stand by for a half a minute or so. I want to recognize five of the Patreon team long haulers who make it possible for me to bring you this type of content free of the manufacturers influencing me on what I can and cannot say. So without these uh, Patreon team long haulers, that's people that have supported my channel for a year, two, three or more. Without them, you wouldn't have seen this video or hundreds of others. So please hang around for a half minute and let me acknowledge five of those members. All right, thanks again, 73 from N4HNH.